you've got questions, we've got answers. We have them in, answer them. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. It's good to be with you as always, Bob. Good to have you. I've got a reader who seems to be confused. Uh, they're looking at their 2021 IRA contributions and wondering what the deadline is to make a contribution. No, I can understand the confusion because on the IRS website, it, even today, it talks about making that payment or that contribution by April 15th. Now, as a uh, at a high level, individuals should know that As a general rule of thumb, you can make an IRA contribution up to your tax filing deadline for a year, so effectively for the prior year. So for instance, if you want to make a 2021 IRA contribution, you have until the deadline in 2022, our April deadline coming up here, for that contribution. Now, you can't use extensions. So even though you uh, you may file an extension that may push your filing deadline out to October, that doesn't count. It's got to be by the original deadline when we're talking about a traditional or a Roth IRA contribution. Now, in general, that deadline is April 15th. However, when April 15th falls on a Saturday, a Sunday, or a holiday, it gets pushed out. And indeed, this year, as I look to my calendar here, April 15th is a Friday. So the question would be, why, why is it April 15th the deadline? Well, April 15th is the day that in the District of Columbia, Emancipation Day is observed. And so that pushes it out until uh, the following Monday for most folks, which is April 18th. Now, interestingly, in Massachusetts, and I think maybe Maine as well, uh, but certainly Massachusetts, you celebrate uh, Patriots Day on April 18th. And so because of that, it's actually pushed out an additional day for individuals in those states until April 19th. And whatever your deadline to make your uh, filing for your tax return is the deadline to make your IRA contribution. So as you know, we like to get into the weeds. That date is the date that the money has to be in the account, as well as the date by which you need to file your tax return. So I love it. Let's get really into the weeds. So first off, thankfully, there's a little bit of wiggle room here for those who wait to the last minute. Right. And I I I wouldn't suggest waiting until the last minute. We don't want to have like one of those, uh, you know, like the old show 24 where Jack Bauer sitting there with the 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 bomb of trade like three, two and like, boom, you mail your IRA contribution at the last second. Like that's why did I hate that show, Jeffrey? But if you are at the last second, you can, in fact, it actually doesn't have to be money in the account as of that date. There's what's called a timely mailing as timely filed rule, which also applies to IRA contributions the same way it does for your return. So theoretically, if you used a paper return, which you should never really do anymore if you, unless you absolutely have to, but if you did, you could theoretically postmark. And in fact, years ago, the lines at the post office used to be around the corner on April 15th as everybody would rush to get that stamp of April 15th at 11.59 p.m. That was okay. Well, the same thing is true with an IRA contribution. If you put it in the mail as of April 15th, even if it arrives at your custodian later, that's okay. Notably though, right? Because you said we'd like to get into the weeds. So let's do it. You can't use every type of mail service. There are only specific type of services. So USPS, United States Postal Service, is always okay. But beyond that, the IRS maintains a list of uh, private delivery services, what are called PDSs, on its website. And it lists the company as well as the specific service. So for instance, like UPS Next Day, UPS Next Day Air Saver, or things like that, it'll tell you which of those companies and services offered by the company is acceptable to use for the timely mailing as timely filed rule. And if you don't use one of those and it gets to the custodian after that April 18th or 19th deadline this year, then it would be an invalid 2021 contribution. And I can only guess that at that point, you're revising your tax return. Probably. Yeah. At that point, you probably filed and you need to probably file an amended return, which would be much more of a pain in the neck than it deserves. So get your contribution in early. And look, let's just say one other thing, as long as we're on this topic, if you can and you're able to do so, make your 2022 IRA contribution now too. You don't have, I know so many people wait and it's almost like this, uh, you know, Pavlov's dog type of thing where they go to their CPA and the CPA goes, did you make your contribution? They go, ah, no, I've got to, I got to do that. Do it proactive. If you make your contribution now versus next April, you're getting another 14 months of tax deferral 
effectively for free. And if you do that over a long period of time, it can actually result in significantly more dollars in your pocket at retirement, even though you've put in the same amount over that time. Jeffrey, as always, you nailed it with a good answer and great advice. Well, we appreciate it. If you'd like us to take a, uh, a shot at nailing your question, let us know. Give us a shout by emailing us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I look forward to your contribution in our inbox real soon.